actually his story. Here's a little something to brighten up your evening. And it's still at the top of the charts. Good morning, Dr. McCann. How are you today? Fucking wonderful. That's nice. I thought maybe you were having a bad day. Did I look as stupid as I think I did? Worse. <sighs> George, do me a favor, please. Hmm? Call someone, have them pick it up, and see if they can fix it for me, please. You want me to have them take a look at that oh. crease in the side there? Not unless they can widen my garage door at the same time. <laughs> this machine allows us to see Kong's blood as it flows through his body. Mm. His renal function is intact. Mm. And his cells are completely capable of self-defense. Uh, more magnification, please. As you can see, they fight toxicity as well, or even better, than if he had a normal kidney. Mm. Now, what I have done, and with equal success in humans, is to implant a filtering system in the intestinal lining. That eliminates the need for kidney dialysis. Light, please. Oh. Good morning, Dr. McCann. I'm glad you could make it. Uh, Dr. Stein, have any of your patients experienced rejection phenomena? No. I'm proud to say that the abdominal implant is a procedure without rejection complications. Anyone? 
Yes, Dr. McCann. Dr. Stein, haven't you experienced some rather serious post-operative complications? Mild infections and inflammations are hardly what you call serious. Yes, but isn't that an indication? Dr. Stein! Señor Rodriguez, ¿cómo está usted? Un poquito mejor, gracias. Muy bien. Dr. Kyle, your diagnosis? Um, gastroenteritis? Do you agree, Dr. Hendricks? Mrs. Rodriguez has a history of abdominal colic, oliguria, and convulsions, along with the mouth lesions, the microcytic anemia, and the wrist drop. I diagnosed her as having acute lead poisoning. And the treatment? I'd order serum lead and FEP levels, and do a urinalysis checking for copperporphyrin and aminoluvulinic acid. Then I'd prescribe Dilantin to control further convulsions and IV rehydration and chelation therapy with BAL and DDTA. And if that doesn't work, I'd ask Dr. Kyle if she knows a good mortician. That is not funny, doctor. Why, was my timing off? Okay, that's it until tomorrow. Dr. Hendricks, may I have a word with you, please? That was an excellent diagnosis. Thank you. Your knowledge of medicine, especially blood toxins, is as good as any doctors on the staff. But I find you arrogant and thoughtless in the extreme, and I will not have you ridicule another doctor, especially in the presence of a patient. Just get sick of these spoiled kids who couldn't care less about medicine. I thought maybe if I shook her up a little bit, she might listen and maybe learn something for a change. Besides, Mrs. Rodriguez doesn't even speak English. Last time I looked, I was teaching this class. This is, can Dr. Norma come? She doesn't know what she's doing, and you're letting her waltz through it. That's my determination to make, not yours. What are you sticking up for? Is this some kind of woman's thing? If I were you, doctor, I'd watch my own ass. I train professionals here. I suggest you start behaving like one. Excellent. Got it. Thanks, Teresa. You just saved my golf game. Well, that was uppermost in my mind. <laughs> okay, that's it. Will you finish for me, please? You want to play? 
No, thank you. Chasing a little white ball around for five hours is not my idea of a good time. What is? My idea of a good time is a canoe, a flat lake at sunset, and a good bottle of wine. I can do canoes. With somebody else. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> Blood pressure? You need to climb thing going to fit? Blood pressure is falling, Doctor. These arteries aren't labeled as they should be. Some traction on that, please. What else is new? It's falling. Maps. Are these sutures holding? Doctor, you better find that bleeder quick. Jeez. Need more sponges. What the fuck is she bleeding? Sponges. These veins. There's only four she... units of FFP and two units of Paxil. More suction. Four units of FFP. Come on. Need more suction. Blood bank right away. Clue. For God's sake, get the sponge in here. Where are having this here? Cover up, please. There's a bleed somewhere. Good. Good. It looks good. Tax pressure's rising. Right. Close her up. We've gone through 25 lap sponges. Four sponges. Sponges coming up. me before barging into my operating room. You were performing another implant, weren't you? What business is that of yours? I am on the surgical committee. We have to approve all experimental procedures. My procedure has been approved. After what happened this morning, I think you'd be questioning Please that. Please don't show your ignorance, young lady. What happened this morning had nothing to do with my procedure. Oh, really? Then what did it have to do with? Are you also on the medical inquiry committee? No, I'm not. No, you're not. Doctor, you're boring the hell out of me. If you have a problem, take it up with Mittles Bay. You in with Mittles Bay? No, Dr. McCann. You can go right in. Who approved the implant Stein just did on Lorraine Ridgeway? Good afternoon to you, too, Teresa. You are aware that this morning one of Stein's research monkeys died because of that procedure. Of course I'm aware that it died. And you let him perform the operation again as if nothing happened? But the animal's death had nothing to do with the surgeon. Who told you that, Stein or the monkey? Uh, the baboon had a grand mal seizure. That is bullshit. I take it you know what's wrong with Dr. Stein's procedure. I will. Well, when you do, we will discuss it. You're right not to worry about it. It's only life and death. It's not as if the Mariner's lost. Dr. Stein, 443 ICU. Dr. Stein, 443 ICU. How's the wedge pressure? Lorraine Ridgeway, number three. Have we got the lab reports? They just came in. BUN is 100, creatinine 7.3, and potassium 6 even. Did you call Dr. Stein? He has an answer, Jet. Move her to dialysis. What? Move her to dialysis. I will take full responsibility. Is that Stein? We're still trying to contact him. Great. When he gets here, page me right away. I'm a beautiful move through your hood and juice. Help me out clips from the AKI you don't move. Only get on my nerves, so my mind disturbed. From all the bad time, I'm done, sir. Someone better from the ghetto and request. I've been getting complaints. The other patients on the floor want to hear Bon Jovi. Wiggle. When can I get out of here, man? This is total bullshit. The police told me you were doing 80 miles an hour. You're lucky to be alive. I was just going where the music took me, you know? I'll start listening to Mozart. You'll live longer. <laughs> Look straight ahead. Ooh. So, 
Have you decided whether or not you're going to marry him? I don't know. I mean, I love him and shit, right? But marriage, man, that's a big deal, you know? Yeah. You married? No. You ever been in love? I thought I was once. <laughs> I thought I was in love once in high school. But all I got out of it was this fucking tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Of course, come on. Hi, Doc, how's it going? It's OK. Don't worry, Millie. This is not gonna hurt a bit. That's what you said when you shoved that probe thing up my butt. And it hurt something awful. This is a simple procedure. You'll be up and about tomorrow. Hi, Millie. Good news. I'm gonna be assisting Dr. Kaiser today. Dr. McCann, how about getting me out of this mess? I'll tell you what. I'll make sure Dr. Kaiser does a first-rate job, all right? Excuse us a minute, Millie. You be mighty careful what you shave down there. <laughs> Dr. Stein, I'm starting to feel better. That's very good. Say, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. We can do better than that. Uh. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this will balance your blood's pH level. You'll feel a little feverish. That's normal. Will I be out of here soon? Absolutely. I keep saying the pain is in my leg, but you got to check every place else. Just want to make sure you're right, Billy. <laughs> I think you're taking a damn inventory of what I got left that still works. You get them from a boyfriend, Dr. McCain? No, these are for you. <gasps> Waste flowers on an old woman. You ought to get yourself a man for y'all dried up. Oh my God, call a code. I gotta go, that's me. You all right? Yeah, yeah. I'll see you later. What happened? We don't know. We've arrested the burning, but her vitals are weakening. Defibrillator. And I'll set up the Arresting. 360. She's a woman, not a horse. Try 200. 200. Oxygen up to the clear. Meters. Clear. One. Suction 60. Let's try again. Set up. 300. 300. Clear. Clear. Oxygen. One milligram of nitrogen. Oxygen. No, she's gone. 
Has Dr. Stein been in to see her since I moved into dialysis? I didn't see him. Tell pathology I want the autopsy report on my desk, ASAP. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Teresa. Ed, hi. I wanted to talk to you. You come into my office right away, please. Yeah. That'll be 450. Keep the change. Thanks. Night. Did the Mariners lose? Teresa, I'm suspending your hospital privileges pending a full investigation in the Laurian Ridgeway. What? Why didn't you tell me you moved Laurian Ridgeway to dialysis? The woman was in acute renal failure. She had to be dialyzed immediately. You took over another doctor's patient without authority, and now that patient is dead. This is bullshit. She was completely disfigured. Dialysis would not do that. Not dialysis alone, no, but combined with Dr. Stein's procedure, a procedure you know nothing about. That's insane. Is that what Stein said? He, among others, yes. Now, we're going to investigate this fully, and I promise you the conclusion will be fair. But in the meantime... I can't believe you're doing this to me, Ed. As someone who's fought many battles for you, Teresa, I resent that. I'm sorry. Now, maybe, just maybe, we can salvage your career. But... I... So, go home. Relax, work on your tennis game, whatever. I'll call you in a few days. Dr. Stein, Dr. Stein please. Yeah. Roger. It's taken care of. She's been suspended. Yes, I'd like to speak to a patient, please, Jillian Matar. Uh, it's a little late. Do you know what time it is? Yes, I know what time it is. It... Oh, it's 3.30 there. I'm sorry. I'll try later. Okay.
Hendrix. What, are you gonna sleep the whole day away? Hi. Hey. I just pulled 36 straight hours. So are you, uh, putting yourself through medical school catching fish? <laughs> I've caught a few. Interesting place to live. Oh, it's cheap and it travels well, if you don't want to go to Kansas. Mm. So do you have plans today? No. Thanks for the flowers, by the way. Damage control. Mm. I thought you were going to throw me off rotation. Oh, maybe I jumped on you a little too hard yesterday. I had it coming. Hendrix, you understand Stein's abdominal implant, right? What could have caused the monkey to die like that? Without an examination, it's tough to say, but... Either something within the filtering system broke down, or something was introduced to the system from outside. Like what? Battery acid, for all I know. Why? Yesterday, Stein performed an implant on a patient, Maureen Ridgway. She died last night, and I'm being blamed for it. Yeah, I thought I'd wait for you to mention it. Well, I think she died exactly like that monkey. I need your help finding out what happened. Why me? Because you understand the implant, and it occurred to me that you're a damned encyclopedia of blood toxins. And because Stein has too much clout for you to get any help from the hospital staff. Yeah, well, they all know better. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should wait here a while. Fine with me. Did you hear that? Okay. 
okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. God. You know this guy? being tape recorded in attendance of doctors McCann, Hendricks, and Middles Bay. This is Lieutenant McElwain and Sergeant Ross. Uh, Dr. McCann, can you tell us why Matar didn't try to kill you? Well, you, you'll have to speak up. The, uh, the tape doesn't record gestures. I have no idea. Did he say anything to you? No. What was your relationship prior to his being fired from staff here? <clears throat> I told you, Teresa discovered his unauthorized procedures and brought them to my attention. And how did you discover these uh, unauthorized procedures? It was his own success. He had two terminal patients that recovered. Sometime later, I found a thesis he wrote that detailed the procedures he used. Do you have a copy of this thesis? Julie, would you bring in a copy of Dr. Matar's thesis, please? So he cured terminal patients. Why wasn't he given a Nobel Prize? The procedures hadn't been properly tested. There were side effects, and both patients died shortly afterwards. And so you fired him. Colorado. Well, he was moving around pretty well for a man with spinal damage. How do you explain that? Your guess is as good as ours. Exquisite tenderness? That's a medical term. It's the point where pain reaches its most extreme. Well, I guess that's it for now. Thank you. We'll be around to get written statements. And we'll be in contact. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're very welcome. Teresa, don't you have rounds to make? Dr. Stein began to suspect Matar when things started screwing up with his implant patients. And he just wanted room to investigate without you interfering. So you had to get the pain in the ass out of the way, right? Well, I wouldn't have put it quite so bluntly, but that's about the size of it. Thank you. The crazy way you thrill me? Why didn't you tell him what Matar said? He didn't say anything.
Well, Doctor, it's been a fascinating day. Thanks for inviting me. I didn't know what I was getting you into. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna catch a bite. You interested? I have patience waiting. Okay, maybe some other time. I'll see you tomorrow. Hendrix, wait. I can meet you in a couple of hours. Belugas? Yeah, Belugas.
something's wrong? Oh, well, I guess this Matara thing has me spooked. I can imagine. What's that supposed to mean? Teresa, look, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that there was something more to your relationship with Matara than what you told the police. I'm sorry, Doctor. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. You read his thesis. How do you think he's up and walking? I wouldn't know. Bullshit. You've got the same idea as I do. Really? I went back to Stein's office and got a hold of Matara's research and his thesis. It's amazing. Pituitary extract cultures used as a growth hormone, dying tissue regeneration, bone regeneration. You know as well as I do, that's where he was heading. It's not possible. Anything's possible. They're doing similar stuff at Johns Hopkins right now. They're years away. Oh, well, maybe Matar found a shortcut. Are you saying he cured himself? Unless you have a better idea. I just had time to skim it over. The guy did some pretty bizarre homework, way beyond schoolbook medicine. Yeah, I've seen it. I marked a few passages. You're not going to read them now, are you? Animal research is growing more frustrating daily. There are too many variables to control, and approval of my procedures will be delayed by years. While I wait, patients die. Though I cannot condone research from the death camps, it's moderate of them, I envy the support and freedom that Nazi doctors received from the politicians. I, however, am forced to muddle through my own devices and am rapidly coming to the conclusion that terminal patients are my answer. You really are an asshole sometimes. And you tell lies. Nobody's perfect. Get this one. Mrs. Wilkie died this morning from ovarian cancer. I can only blame myself for this tragic setback. I should have waited until I had a younger, stronger subject. I am convinced it is only a matter of a few years before I put an end to all human suffering. <sighs> At least he set realistic goals. Maybe to him they were realistic. Probably. And that's what's really wild. When you look beneath the madness, you find genius. Oh, what's the matter? Nothing. Uh, I just better get home. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just sort of playing devil's advocate. I don't even have it clear in my own head what I'm arguing. I'm not upset with you, really. It's just time I should be getting home. Well, I'll walk you. Hello, Millie. Dr. Kaiser asked me to come in and check on you. Dr. Kaiser said I could go home tomorrow. But he just wanted me to check on you first. He didn't say nothing to me about it. And until he does, you ain't touching nothing I got. I know what you doctors are up to. There's nothing to be alarmed about, Millie, I assure you. Oh, hell, it ain't. Well, I'll just come back when you're feeling a little more hospitable. Doctor, he is gonna take something out of me, sure as hell. What crazy Dr. Miller? You're not making any sense. The one that got arrested tonight. He's nowhere near here. There he is. He went back in. Millie, I don't see anybody. Look, I'm telling you, girl, Millie, she's in my room. There is nobody down there. I'm Millie, you are imagining things. There's nobody in your room. Just come in here. I know he's lurking around here. That perverted weirdo. I know he's
I'm not crazy. like a scared kid he came in here i know he did well there are doctors all over this hospital half of them don't know where they're going he probably came in here realized he was in the wrong room and left he said my name he knew exactly where he was what would some crazy doctor want with you i told you he wants to take something out of me he wants my liver for some rich patient nobody's going to take your liver now come on let's go to bed Get back in there. Yeah, that's it. In you go. Now you try and get some rest. Here's the buzz if you need me. Okay? Try to get some sleep. Good night, Millie. Yeah, good night. I should have never signed that organ donor card. Anyway, I was in Belfast, and I'd been up all night with another photographer drinking. And we were walking back to the hotel. It was 7 or 8 in the morning, and there was an impromptu roadblock set up, and there was a school bus full of kids sitting there. And all of a sudden, the bus blows up. Oh, no. So we pull out our cameras, run up, and start taking pictures. There are bleeding, screaming kids everywhere. And in the middle of this, my buddy elbows me, and he says, this is it, man. This is my cover for Newsweek. And I stopped. I stopped taking pictures, took off my camera, and started helping the kids. That day, I traded my camera for a stethoscope, took out major loans, and nine years later, here we are. And my name's Benjamin. It's very nice to meet you, Benjamin. How about you? How'd you get an assistantship so young? I turned in the tar, and I inherited his chair, remember? <laughs> well, you wouldn't have got it if you weren't qualified. Or very good looking. So what do you do besides work? Me? Yeah. I run, I read medical journals, I call my father, I make dolphin-safe tuna fish sandwiches, and I eat them. I have a very full life. Keep you nice and warm for me. Come <laughs> on. 
morning, Dr. McCann. Thanks, Sid. Ben? Do you like canoes on a calm lake? Where'd you find that outfit? Tommy? Tommy? T Tommy! Tommy! Help me! Medication. Girl, why are you all covered up like this? Down and get as many men as you can. We gotta check out everybody who comes and goes. Doctors, nurses, orderlies, everybody. Yes, sir. Brown, come on, push them back here. Lieutenant. What happened? Matara escaped from county. We think he's here in the hospital. Wait, wait! Oh god. 
What do you think? He's collecting pituitary extract. I called over to Covington Hospital in Colorado. Tar checked himself out of there three weeks ago. There's more, isn't there? Two unexplained patient deaths. MO just like here. Can we set up a headquarters in that conference room? Yes, of course. In the meantime, I think you better think about moving all these patients out of here. I gotta search this hospital from top to bottom. and see if the blood matches any of the victims. Find anything? Just a bunch of stiss and pathology. This place is a fucking nightmare.
Good evening, Ed. It's over, Julian. How did you know where to find me? Oh, well, that was easy. You have all the equipment that you need. Laboratory animals down the hall, dead bodies, solitude. Where else would you be? Ed, you're a doctor. You're pledged to save lives, not end them. So are you. The AMA lifted my license. Technically, I'm more of a mad scientist these days. Let's go upstairs, Julian. You're the boss. A doctor, some kid who's visiting. He's trying to ruin the place. No, it's more than that. He's moving his research forward. Way forward. I examined Lisa Wilson, and I found trace elements of pituitary extract. What? Dr. Matar found a link between pituitary extract culture and muscle fiber and bone tissue regeneration. Run that back in English. He was giving life to dying cells. His research could become a shortcut to healing. Our bodies could repair themselves quicker, much quicker. Do you want me to believe that Matar was curing his own paralysis? I don't care what you believe. The man had inoperable paraplegia. Short of a miracle, that's exactly what we're telling you. I think you're nuts. Speeches for you, Ed. My work has gone so well. Of course, if I had your hospital and support staff, I might have been able to perfect my serum by now. Anyhow, the upside is I've done some amazing healing on myself mostly. The downside is it still breaks down in the body. It doesn't last. So I'm in a continuous search for more of the fluids that keep me whole. You should have seen me an hour ago. It's really oddly pathetic when you think about it. I've cured myself and at the same time quite literally created a monster. Now this might prick a bit. But soon you will feel a thing. Let's take a step back and deal with motive. Why do you want to ruin this place? Revenge? Dr. Stein was Matar's superior. Stein advised Middles Bay to fire him. Where is Middles Bay? In his office. I've been all over the place. Any sensation at all? Here. You're a terrific subject, Ed. Your fright creates adrenaline, and that adds to the strength of the extract. But there's no need to rush into that. Let's take a moment or two to enjoy ourselves. Normally, I find the fright that my patients endure really <laughs> rather disturbing. But with you, my old friend Ed, it is a very distinct pleasure. This little machine will pump a pint of your blood a minute. At that rate. <laughs> well, you're a doctor, Ed. There's no need explaining that to you. Fortunately, I'm not like you. Cold-hearted bureaucrat who fires his most loyal employee at the first sign of trouble. There is still some room in my heart for sympathy. Now, I'm gonna give you a choice you never gave me. 
as the master switch, all you have to do is turn it off. It's that simple. He's killed everyone that was involved in the firing. He'll want me next. Uh, are you willing to let us take advantage of that? What? Yes. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, I'll set it up. Teresa, why? This is my fault. For what? Turning him in? You had to do that. Do you want to know what went on between Matar and I? Let your imagination run. All of it is true. Do you remember the bubblegum song from the 50s, Lollipop? Sure. The crazy way you thrill me is a line from that song. When he was a little boy, his brother died. That song was playing on the radio. He could never get it out of his head. I was the only one he ever told that to. I didn't just stumble onto what he was doing. He showed me. He loved me. And he believed that meant he could trust me. You loved him too, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Look straight out your window, and then up a couple of floors, you'll see our room. I hope they gave you the deluxe suite. Pearson, are your people in place? We're moving into position. OK, let's do it. Don't do anything without me. Dad, Can Ross hear this? It's low, but I can hear it. OK, I'm signing off. Hey, Mary, how are you doing? Joey, you two more. Hey, OK, give me uh, two orange. And then I gotta figure out how much else I need, and I will come back for the rest. Take care, Okay, all right. Gentlemen, I managed to call the kitchen and have some roast beef. Hey, great. Thanks. I'm not hungry anyway. No, I'll Either. share. I'll take dessert. You can have the rest. Thanks. She's moving to the couch. Better send some coffees up here. 10-4, coffee coming up.
My name is Dr. Julian Matar. If I were you, I'd call for help. Come on, give me a little scream. Come on. Where did you just come for us? Yes, Miss Hanks. Now, move it. Okay, let's walk this way. Yes, Pearson, we got trouble. Second floor medication room. Second floor medication room. All units move. Edwards and Davis, you stay with McCann. Let's go. Diagram of the vent system. We'll flush the son of a bitch out. Right. Diagram up in the conference room. Are you okay? Hendrix, you know this place a lot better than I do, so you're with me. And Ross, you stay with Teresa. Got it. Pearson, you send in all the unit managers. Maybe we can get a step ahead of this guy. Let's go.
But do try to say something meaningful. Julian, please. This is insane. You need help. I needed help three years ago. You had your chance then, so shut up now. That's better. It is very important in a relationship to know when to listen. Said to me after I've been fired. Hmm? You said, I'm sorry. No, you said, I'm sorry, doctor. Just like that. As if you'd bumped into me on a crowded subway train. You would have been more sympathetic if you had spilled coffee on me. nightmares 
how you'd wake up in the middle of the night all afraid. What did I do? You'd hold me and listen to my heart slow back down to normal. This time it's not slowing down. The nightmare's real. Change things. You give me back the three years I spent in that hell recovering from the wounds you inflicted. Get me back my license to practice and restore my reputation. Shit. While we're at it, let's bring Ed and the others back to life. I remember things about you too, Julian. I remember how your brother died and how that made you choose medicine. What would he think of you now? My brother out of this. Sorry for you, Julian. He'd hate you for what you're doing. I said, leave my brother out of this. Fuck you, Julian! He's watching you! He sees everything and he's watching! Shut up! What is he thinking? I bet he's proud of his little brother. Chris, will you shut the hell up? You think I don't know what I've become? I have to live with the horror of this every day. You see, you think I'm insane, but the pain of looking back and seeing what might have been is a little bit more than I can bear. When I could only look forward, then I'll truly be free. The past will always be there to haunt you. I am the last tie you have to what was good and decent about you.
Check him. Edwards, check him. He's unarmed. He's all yours. Let's get him on the table. Your pulse fixed and dilated. Come on. There's nothing we can do. I'm calling it off. He's dead. It's over. Let's bring this place up afterwards. What is it? Are they do an EEG? What? On the tar, did they check for brainwave function? Teresa, the man was shot about a hundred times, and half a dozen doctors worked on him. The man is dead. Pathology, Mead. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, no, we finished with her on Tuesday. The paperwork should be down there with you. I'll keep on looking. Well, call me if you can't find it. Thank you. Hendrix, you're not going to believe the nightmare I just... Hendrix? Some more better from the 